Hi, and welcome to ZTech News. This is episode 15, uh, season one, and today we're going to be talking about is this, uh, is virus software or virus tracking software still relevant in 2018? And we'll we'll tell you why here. Um, also, some news: uh, uh, Nvidia Nvidia 2080 Ti's. Nowhere to be found. We haven't had anything in the store. We haven't gotten anything at all. Um, people are coming in and complaining. <laughs> There's nothing we can do. Uh, we've put orders into our different into the different vendors: MSI, uh, Gigabyte, EVGA. You know the list goes on. Asus and no 2080 Ti's at all. And also there have been reports of them failing. Uh, a lot of people are not happy. So there's nothing I can do or we can do at the store to get you some. It's the, it's the best we can do. All we can do is just tell you there's nothing. Uh, news reports across the internet are saying that people, people are buy, uh, who've bought them are starting to fail on them now. There is an example of a company pushing out a product that hasn't been fully tested or vetted. And um, yeah, I mean, that's the situation. It's it's unfortunate when companies try and push a product out to sort of get on top of the game, beat their competitor out the door with it, and it starts failing and it just doesn't look good. I mean, after doing 25 years of QA work in the software industry, you know, and seeing hardware coming out of the door and it starts failing. Uh, talk about rushing something that should have been, you know, should have been in the oven a little bit longer. Anyways, this is going to be a quick video. Um, now, our virus checking software or virus whatever software, anyway, look, it's not worth it. Plain and simple. It's not worth it. With wind, if okay and we're just talking windows 10 here okay it's not worth it because windows defender has been out since uh i would say vista before it was called windows defender it was called i forget what it was but it was like a a package of uh of security software that came with the os anyways it's been around for a while and it's been fleshed out it's a very good, and, and quite honestly, for the last year, I've been running Windows Defender by itself, and I've been running malware by uh, malware. Excuse me, malware bytes free. Uh, now for that period, and I haven't had an issue whatsoever. I mean, also you know, uh, you have to be smart on the internet, knowing what to click on, what knowing what not to click on, and making sure that uh, that everything's good that way. Um, so don't spend your money on Norton. Don't spend your money on McAfee or whatever you want to call it. Don't spend your money on all these other, uh, soft, uh, virus checking software, Kaspersky or whatever it's called. There's no need. Windows Defender is a full featured virus checking software that's built into the OS that doesn't slow down your system is designed to do that. Um, you don't need to go looking for which is the best virus checker that doesn't slow down your system. Just use Windows Defender. I mean, it's plain and simple. It's free. It's in the OS. You don't need extra. I've at the store. I've come people and say, you know, I want to get a, uh, I want to get the latest what, Kapersky or whatever. It's like why? You don't need to. Don't spend the money. Just use Windows Defender. It's good. It works. But people are have been uh, conditioned to buy extra software for virus tracking there is no need for that save your money take that 30 bucks a month or 30 bucks a year put it in your pocket and go buy something cool with it don't bother it's not worth it whatsoever i mean the majority of us at, at well all of us at work at, at the store are running windows defender we have not had a problem i mean that was this is something that i've been keeping my eye on for a while and wanted to report it so don't bother. I mean, it's not worth it. Take the money, put it into something else, into your rig. PC gamers, man, you guys know this. I mean, you don't want to slow down your system with, you know, bloatware and bloat virus checking software that's now turning slowly into, you know, a virus itself or or malware itself. 
It's just destroying and slowing down your system. People complain that their system is slowed down to death. Dude, get rid of that virus checker. Turn on vi uh, Windows Defender and turn on the auto updates and let it update at, you know all the definitions that it needs and you're, Bob's your uncle. I mean, there's nothing more to that. It's so easy. Just go ahead and do that. Remember, Windows Defender will help you out. Um, works in the background, very quiet, doesn't disrupt your system, doesn't make your system slow down, and I've been quite happy with it. So, don't, it's, again, don't waste your money. It's not worth it. Even the free versions of other software, oh, you know, you know, uh, uh, Bitdefender uh, free is very good and very low. Yeah, but it's it's cut down to what it what the full featured one is. Okay, now it works and it's great. Just get just use Windows Defender. There's no need to spend extra money. There's none. No, not, don't don't bother. Windows Defender works great, and I. It's just it's just worth it that way. I mean, again, if you want. To get the latest and greatest virus checking software and you want to spend the money by all means go for it i'm not stopping you but i'm just telling you what i'm seeing with these two oh uh two no my two own eyes on a uh, day-to-day -day basis every machine we run in in the store on demos and stuff like that are running windows defender um a lot of them come already with norton whatever but the funny thing is after the machine's been on demo for a while the subscription runs out of course of course their subscription runs out because they want you to pay we just switch over to windows defender done not a problem and this is people checking out the machines blah 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 going on websites and we've yet to see a machine go down because of a virus so save your money um also folks uh my next episode which i'm probably not going to do today uh, because i have to leave for work very shortly this, the video is going to be about what the hell is this anyway um the next video is going to be how to prepare for black friday and i'm actually going to probably do that in, uh tomorrow uh morning when i have some time nobody's going to be in the house the kids are going to be at school the wife's going to be at work so i'll spend a little bit of time and talk about how important it is to prepare for black friday don't come unprepared uh, because we are going to be super busy helping a ton of people. If you come in with a list of stuff, well, come into the stores now, get a quote on what you want built as a machine, and then bring that list back with you on Black Friday, see what's on sale, and buy everything on sale, okay? And with that list, we can just pick all the parts, and get you to pay, and get you out the door and at home building your machine. Okay, so that's how we're going to talk about how to prepare for Black Friday. Anyways, that's about it for me today. Um, I'm a mess, obviously. I got to get ready for work. But this is, what the hell is this? Episode 15, I think it is. Yeah, episode 15. Um, that's about it. Anyway, folks, take care. Don't forget to subscribe, please. We want to hear from you. We want to feedback from you. You want, I mean, we're. I'm always trying to update this uh this video and get things you know very professional just takes a little bit of time to get to that point but please subscribe comment let us know what's going on and that's it take care everyone